and Tuesday Bible Club class via teleconference at 1605 475 5910 or 605 562 0400, with the access number being 618741 pound. Wednesday night Bible class will be live streamed by BTC website or Facebook as well as the teleconference. You can make your donations, high offers, via the btcknosh.com website or be able to find that.
that's all right. We can pray, Lord. Heal that brain. All of that. At this time, it's time to work on this. It's time to get it back to the word of God that is able to save our souls. For our Lord is saying, said, that man is still not living, my brother, all me. But my every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. And those that are watching, keep you encouraged. You want to be encouraged by the word of God. Keep trusting him. Trust the Lord. He knows what he's doing. And I love that our pastor will bring to us the word of God today. Bethlehem Temple Church of the Apostle in the city of Kenosha. He fights you to hear the word of God. Hear, my brothers and sisters, my friends. And your soul be away. You that are sleeping away now. Rise from the dead. Christ. Hear my friends. We pray right now. Our pastor, Bishop Eric Hawkins. Let's receive him at this time with a heart. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord to all of you that are out. Amen. Yeah. I guess it's uh Live stream land, praise the Lord. So thank the Lord for all of you in your places where we might be. Trust that you are hearing, amen, enjoying the words of life. We are excited, even though it's a few of us in the sanctuary today, amen. We trust that you feel the joy that we have on this resurrection Sunday. Yes, say, well, Bishop, it's Easter. We like the term resurrection because that's the day that our Lord arose. Amen. He arose. Easter was a pagan holiday. Amen. To the goddess Astrolog. We don't serve any pagan God. I know that is a common term. I wouldn't put with you, but if you would allow me to use the term that I prefer. Amen. It is resurrection Sunday. We certainly honor the Lord for His goodness, His mercy, and His kindness. Those of you that are at home and you would open your Bible this morning, amen, wherever you are, if you're at home, please rise to your feet, open your word, open your scriptures. When we have service on your mind, I would hope that you would take it with the seriousness, even as if you were in the house of God properly, that you would accept that we are worshiping God. These are times that are different. Amen. That we've ever seen before. Not just affecting us here in the city of Kenosha, not in just the state of Wisconsin, not in just the United States of America, but across the whole world. Amen. Men have their fear. Amen. But I'm looking for God to work something out for us. Amen. That He would cause this scourge to pass, give us a man ability to survive. This terrible, terrible plan. Amen. I want you to open the Bible today. We're going to the Hebrews. Then we're going to the Gospel according to St. John. Hebrews chapter number 2. We want to go from verses 6 through 9. 6 through 9. And also the book of St. John chapter 10. Verses 9 and 10. Amen. It is Resurrection Sunday. So Extra reading that we normally do. Amen. I want us to realize that while amen, governments are blocking uh, for reasons of health, uh, us coming to the house of God, amen, the church of God has to be in you, not just in a local building. Amen. There's coming a time. I used to hear the older saints tell us that we may not be able to worship in the way that we were accustomed. We would think that was me, but uh, you've got to learn to worship God in spirit and in truth. The word of God is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 2, verse number 6 says, but in a certain place, testify saying, what is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou art visited him? Thou hast made him a little lower than he Thou promised him with glory and honor, and didn't set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under.
under his feet. For in that he had put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that did not, uh, not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Verse 9 said, but we see Jesus, who is made of the Lord and the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. He, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Verse 9 again, but we see Jesus, who is made of the Lord and the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. And I, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. In the words of St. John chapter 10, verse number 9, these words are found, I am the door. If any man in the land, he shall be saved. Shall go in and out and find the pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The last call against it, I am come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day we pray. That on this great day that we recognize our Savior, Lord, rising from the grave. That sent back, Lord, made preparation for us that we might be filled with the Holy Ghost power. I pray today, Lord, that you would, Lord, anoint, Lord, our tongue. Give us clarity of thought, Lord. Speak, O God, to share your truth. Look down upon those that hear the word of life. My God, that their hearts be Somebody, Lord, at home, Lord, that is watching, that is not saved, not made their full commitment to you. I pray you would trouble their hearts and give them minds to be saved. My Lord, the water of baptism like you trouble, we stand ready, Lord, to assist any man that want to be saved, Lord, and right in your sight. Give your name the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 For something today, I would like to use these words. A taste of death for an abundance of life. A taste of death for an abundance of life. You may be seated at home in the sanctuary, serving out of the Lord day and uh, this is one of those uh, services and one of these Sundays that the CMA saints normally come. Uh, and, uh, they're not able to be here today. And CME is Christmas saints and Easter saints and Mother's Day saints. Amen. Uh, but those that are true believers, we're here at all times. I, I uh, the Lord brought this all in my heart as we were uh, working around the house on yesterday and my family was asking me and, and uh, I was saying pray for me I knew the word from the Lord. Uh, and this thought came to my heart. He tasted death for every man. This, this week in that worldwide those that are uh, claimants of the Christian faith recognize and take time out to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to know that a baby Jesus is fine, but it does not bring you salvation. Right. That a, a man dying on the cross is something that we remember. But it does not complete your salvation. And the song that the old Bible sang said, Living love, dying to save you, carry, carry my sins by the way. But the rising part is the part that you ought to shout out that he justified me forever. One day he's coming back. 
What a glorious day. I got about the taste that Jesus I said on the Friday that we don't necessarily hold to the doctrine of Good Friday. Because we believe that he has to be in the grave. Three days and three nights. It's required in order for scripture not to be broken. There's no way you can get up early Sunday morning before the crack of dawn and have went in the grave on Friday to have three days, 72 hours. Amen. That he was in the grave. Uh, but I, I thought that uh, this time, all of us to remember, I want you to think about the fact that he tasted death. Amen. For not just for himself, but for every man, woman, girl, and boy. He got to dissect what taste means. Amen. And, and, and those of us that enjoy good food know that a taste suggests that it's just enough to not be enough. Amen. When you get a little taste, even our babies, in that that they learn to eat food, you can tell how they enjoy it when they begin to smack their lips. When you just give them a little taste. Come on, son. Amen. Uh, it is just enough. Amen. It cannot be enough. Lips are smacking. Sometimes people begin to exercise themselves, let people know that I want more. I want to come back again. I, I talk about a chef that is still a man chef. One that knows about gastronomical delights. A skilled chef with just a taste can deduce the season, the abundance of or the lack of. Sometimes you give something to someone that's a good cook, and they say, I taste such and such in there. They didn't see you put it in, but they can taste it. Come on here. Amen. And, and then sometimes you are cooking and you say, I'm missing something. And you give it to someone else and say, What do you think that is not me? I need a little bit more salt, a little bit more seasoning, a 
people have tasted in this life and he will be dead. We have some that confess uh, that they have approached death. They see a vision that said it came toward life. They had they were about to go through life, but they came back to this realm. I don't know about that. I've never experienced that, but there's been a whole lot of people that have talked about the man approaching death. And they didn't taste it for everybody else. It was all their own personal experience. Amen. They can only tell you how it happened to them. And we even have some and I that wrote about tasting heaven. Mr. Lord, but they didn't taste heaven for everything. They only tasted it for themselves. Bible lets me know that Jacob seen a ladder with angels ascending and descending. Elijah seen the trumpet came down and took Elijah back on into glory. Stephen saw the heavens open and looked up and seen Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father. Amen. And Paul himself was caught up into the third heaven and saw things that he could not share, saw things he could not hallucinate on. Amen. Because he was only tasting. For himself. Ah, but I'm so glad that Jesus tasted death for everything. Now, I don't want you to think that we're glorifying death. Because our God is not a God of the dead, but he's a God of the living. Isn't that right? Amen. And now, when you think about death, oh, have mercy. Let's not be fine. That death is a terrible thing. Amen. And death, amen, we find it in the book of Genesis. Introduced, amen, to our other man, our father. Because of sin that caused him to disobey God. Anytime you listen to somebody that tells you to disobey God, it's going to cause a problem for you. It's not going to work out so well for you. And they listen to the serpent that was being controlled by the devil. And then it caused them to be driven out of the dark. So death, amen, amen. The word said that if you eat of it and if you touch this tree, you shall surely die. Uh, and then what that does, it brings about a separation. God. And then and Adam and Eve were driven out of the dark. They had it well, it was all good for them, but amen, death came and separated them from God. And uh, death brings shame and reproach. And then death is a thing, amen, that even now folks find out after the fact. Uh, when a person is gone, he can't lie no more. Uh, Uh, can you say how many 
everything. I learned something else about When I'm going through, I need to learn how to praise the more. Oh, hallelujah. I mean, I need to learn how to praise the more. Now, now don't, don't give them just a, a weak praise. Give them a burning praise. Just overdo it and sit. Till folk look at you and say, something wrong with you. Can you pray the Lord just like this? There's some wrong with you. But there's something on the inside. Working on the outside. I got joy bells ringing. In my heart. I can feel the prayer wheel turning. I got the Holy Ghost. And fire. It's keeping me alive. The joy of the Lord. Don't be believing on me the way you want me. Believe on me and the scripture. 
steps. You believe that I am the son. He asked, what do you believe I am? He? You believe I can do this? Say, so, yeah, Lord, I believe. Just in case. Help my unbelief. I, I, I know you got enough grace to help me when I can hardly make it myself. When I'm afraid, when I'm fearful. He said, I, I am come. I love that scripture in John chapter 10. I am come that you might have life. That you might have it more abundantly. He came and tasted death for every man. Let us know that we, how can we escape? That second chapter of even these stars. So how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? How? How are you going to miss, miss, miss him? Uh, hell are you? You don't understand that he gave his life for you. Gave his life, and then when we look at what he did on that third day, woo when he got up, I heard him say, I have power. Now, now because we deal with abundance, he didn't say I had some power. He didn't say I had a little power. He said, I got abundance. I got all power in heaven and in earth. No, that person. So don't. Amen. He's able. Amen. The second captain. 
Christ. Our Lord, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Abundant life. Amen. Abundant life. That's what he wants to give you. He tasted. He tasted the negative. He tasted the worst of it. So you can live. That you may have freedom. Amen. Amen. I have a message from the Lord. Uh, 
and every day. But I'm asking you for right now, we're going to follow the dictates, amen, of our health officials, our, our state officials, and our governor, amen. We're praying to the Lord, and I'll tell you what, you pray God will them on their hearts. They know what to do with the right thing. Amen. I want to say this to you as well. When we are given the all clear, that just means that we're free to move about, but I want you to continue to practice good health and good hygiene. Because the virus didn't go anywhere. They just did this to prevent the spread and the rush to the hospital. They're looking for cure, they're looking for treatments, but you still need to practice. Don't be sneezing around all over people in good place that uh, you don't know when you got health issues. Wear a mask. It, it may look, make you look bad funny. Wear a mask. I'd rather for you to look funny and still be here to look normal and be gone. I'd rather for you to be here with us. Amen. Rest in those of you that have a respiratory illness. I've seen the citizens learning things every day. But right now, we don't want to take any risk. I want you to continue to pray. For those that are inside, cannot move around. Said on the uh, Friday, one of our ministers, deacons, continue to reach out to our, our seniors and those that are at home. Check on one another. Call, text, let them know I'm thinking about you because uh, just sitting at home can be uh, making those stir crazy. Amen. People start feeling like nobody concerned about them. Amen. You have to run through the list. Who in the church have I not talked to? If you don't have the number, find out somebody. They got somebody got the number. Amen. I want to call Sister So and So. I want to call Brother So and So just to see how they're doing. And it will mean a whole lot to them. Don't call the same person all the time. Just spread the love around them. Amen. In Jesus' name. And just remember that we will, uh, when we do come back, we're going to try to have some practices and policy for a little while. Make sure we'll continue to sanitize and try to clean because you don't know where it's coming from. Nobody knows. But we want to do everything we can. Once you do everything you can, you leave everything else in the hands of the Lord. And then you can do about it nowhere. Amen. Pray the Lord. Keep our bodies strong and healthy. Take your prayer for the same. Oh, there's a new way for you to give uh, your tithes and offering to the house of God. Uh, we have a, a, a give a five. We go to uh, the, the store, the little store, or the 